It has been said that time is the best resource. I agree. Which is why today I want to show you a method that will save you a lot of time when using ChemDraw. I know that the traditional way of drawing structures in ChemDraw takes a lot of time, energy and attention, especially if these structures have a number of structural details like stereochemistry to which you can't be oblivious because these details inform how the molecule behaves. They are important to a biologist, a biochemist, a chemist. So in this short method, it will take us just seconds to generate very complex structures like taxol. Let's delve into it. Type PubChem in your browser and click on the first search result. This takes us to pubchem.com. Here we can search for any molecule that we want to generate, for example, taxol. This generates various results, including the derivatives of taxol. In this case, let's consider the first option. In other words, the first result. This generates a page that outlines the various attributes of taxol. For this case, we are more interested in the section for names and identifiers, which is section two. So under names and identifiers, there are various other subsections. So we go, for, we go to the subsection for smiles. So there are two forms of smiles. We have the canonical smiles. These ones simply generate the basic structure without putting into consideration the stereochemistry. So you just right click and copy. But we also have a section for isomeric smiles. Here, uh, these ones can be used to generate a structure putting into consideration the stereochemistry of the structure. So simply copy the isomeric smiles and then go to ChemDraw. Under ChemDraw, from the Edit tab, go to Paste As, click Smiles, and there you go. There it is. Now, you may be thinking, why don't I just generate the structure from the name using ChemDraw? Well, you can do that for smaller molecules whose IUPAC names you know, or you can easily type out in seconds. But not all structures are available in ChemDraw database. Moreover, some of these structures are complex. You can't accurately write out their IUPAC names with accurate precision. Also, you need to be very uh, specific to details like stereochemistry, which the software may not generate from the name that you've typed, which is why I recommend using the isomeric smiles from the method that we've just seen. Now there is a downside to this method. Uh, if the structure is not deposited in PubChem, it means you can't access it. But there is a way around that. There are other databases like the Zinc database and many others that you can explore. Was that hopeful? Let me know down below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in the next.